In today's video, we're going to cover how to use probing for part setup in the beginning of a conversational program. Um, it's a very simple thing to do, and the settings are just like it would be if you were going to probe part setup for your setup outside of the program, but we can also set it up as a block in the program. So that's the first thing that happens when you mount your part in a vise in your fixture or whatever. It'll automatically go in, um, probe the part for zero, and you can probe for skew and so forth. So the way we do that is at the very beginning of the program, I'm going to insert a block. It's under miscellaneous. We're gonna do probe part setup. We just start filling out the, block, the fields here. What tool? Tool 99 is typically the probe. It may be different on your machine, obviously. Then we have the part zero cycles and the skew cycles. We select from the pull down menu here what kind of operation we want to do to probe for zero. In this case, I'm just going to do a simple edge. We answer the questions. We're going to probe in the x-axis, the positive, negative direction, just like we would if we were doing an edge probing manually in our part setup. Then we have down here some questions for storing results. We're going to restore it as our or uh, store that as our part setup, one of the work offsets, or an auxiliary offset. And then we have when we probe that edge, if it is not zero, if that edge happens to be a sixteenth of an inch or so off of zero, we might put a sixteenth point zero six two five here or whatever as meaning that the, the surface that we're probing is not zero, what is the absolute position of that particular edge? And we would put that value here. So, so far, nothing is different than what we have done in the manual probing. Once we've probed for zero, we can come over here and pick one of these uh, probing cycles to use for skew, and then it would automatically set that um, the uh, location in our skew angle in the part setup. Say we did a, uh, a two point edge or something like that. Now you see the start <clears throat> uh, menus or start fields down here for X, Y, and Z. And we got one over here for skew. Typically when we're probing in a manual part setup, where we're gonna probe before we ever uh, start a program, we hand wheel into position and then we start the probing cycle from there. Well, obviously in an auto situation in the program, I can't do that. So I'm going, going to put either machine position locations or part position locations here for it to automatically go to before it begins the probing cycle. Now, whether or not this is a part setup value or a machine position relative value is going to be set under the program parameters. If I go to the program parameters, under probing, we see that we have the start coordinate reference here as either machine zero or part zero. So if you wanna just put in values from your part setup, then you would select the part zero. If it's gonna be machine positions, obviously you do that with setting that to machine position. And a lot of that has to do with whether or not you are retaining the, the um, probed values or not. What that means is if you are not retaining it, it is going to come down and probe the edge. It's going to temporarily remember that location in for part setup and you'll run the part. Everything will work just like you would expect it to, but it doesn't physically change the numbers in your part setup. If I set that to, to retain those values, then when it probes that edge, it will physically change the values in the part setup to the new values. So if I were to stop the program um, have, and restart, then I wouldn't have to reprobe that because it changed the part setup. If I don't retain them, then I obviously would need to rerun that probing uh, sequence to make sure that my part setup is indeed correct before I run the part. So that's how easy it is. Um, you just go insert a probe part setup, pick the type of cycle you wanna do for zero and skew, and then you put the values in for where that probing cycle is going to begin.